What's up, YouTube? We're back, and we're here to discuss a fighter. A fighter, you say? Yes, a fighter. Don't you always do fighters? Yes, I do. So, the fighter that we're going to talk about today is of Mexican descent. You know? This fighter is a young man. He's also a model, and he has a, a lot of other things going for him besides boxing. He's also signed to Golden Boy, which is run by Oscar De La Hoya, another Mexican fighter, former Mexican fighter, former champion. And, uh, yeah, this guy's name is Ryan Garcia. Now... What we're going to talk about is his adversaries, his skill set, and how good he can actually be in the sport of boxing. First off, we're going to talk about skill set. Now, this skill, this guy's skill set is pretty amazing. When it comes to for the, his age, when it comes to the age of this man, what he's already learned and what he's prolific at, pretty amazing. Now, if you may have seen his YouTube videos before, this is how I got introduced to him. YouTube, um, him just punching speed bags and uh, other types of bags and doing all types of uh, shadow boxing and all that. And it was just um, it's pretty amazing when you just look at it from a standpoint of, wow, this guy is a really, really, really fast fighter. Now, when you do see... Ryan Garcia, you think by his height, you would think he's in a bigger weight class, but this guy fights at 135 or 130. He's 5'11 almost. Like, what is going on? He's the tallest I've ever seen at that weight, by far. Also, one of the fastest hands I've ever seen, right next to Amir Khan. Might be one of the fastest boxers in the game. Now, he doesn't have much power, but also you got to remember, he's only 20 years old. He has 18 fights, 18 wins, 15 of those by knockout, and he's still improving. Now, let's go to adversaries. He has a couple of people that really don't like him. And the thing is, with this younger generation, it's kind of weird because you would think, okay, now that they're more... Uh, in tune with the um, the the side, the money side of things, you would think that these guys would just be more about the money. But a lot of these guys talk this money talk, and you can hear the money talk, but it's not. You know, it's 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 a lot more feeling based. You know, these guys are more in their feelings. They're more of the type where, for example, Roly Romero. Doesn't care how much he gets paid. He wants to just fight him. You know? And I like that. Now, they don't really talk much about money. I guess not yet because they don't have the funds or they're not really uh, of that level yet. But um, the money will come for, for all these young fighters. Um, also, he has other people that don't like him. He has uh, Teofimo Lopez, not a fan of Ryan Garcia, if you know who he is. And uh, both of these guys that I mentioned, I feel can beat Ryan Garcia at this present time. The thing about being young is you got a lot of time to to prepare and to get better. So it's not like, okay, and and um, also let's talk, we'll talk about the sparring, but it's not like this is it. They're not in their primes. So they. it's not like, okay, he's in their prime, he gets beat. His career might be over on the downside. And Ryan Garcia is always worried about that. He had a couple of interviews where he talked about he doesn't want to lose and he gets scared to lose and all this stuff. Um, he thinks it's over. When it's not, well, big money, big, big money might be over. And, and as a superstar, you might not be inclined to get that same respect because of the losses. But you still can have a great career. Um, there's a few fighters I think that could beat him. Tank, uh, Tank Davis is another one. He's probably the bigger name out of everyone that I mentioned. He will beat Ryan Garcia. Those three people that I remember that I named, I feel could be Ryan Garcia. 
Teofimo Lopez, Roly Romero, and uh, Javante Davis. All can be Ryan Garcia, in my opinion, right now. But like I said, it doesn't really matter about that because you don't have to fight those guys right now. Plus, you can get better and fight the bums that you've been fighting. Ryan Garcia has fought a lot of bums. That's let's let's not even. Ryan Garcia has fought a lot of bums, just like a lot of these. But a, a lot of these fighters. But the the level of bumness is the key to this, and it's very low level. He fights nothing but Mexican fighters, so they find a whole bunch of Mexican cab drivers to fight this guy, and uh. He does very well against them like he should, but when he fights bigger, better competition, things change. Like when he got in the ring with Roly Romero and he got it given to him in sparring. Roly Romero gave it to him in sparring. And uh, that's all I want to say today, guys. If you got anything else, let me know. I'm here. Run Bumpus TV. We bumping.